my beautiful momars and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be playing with ear candles. Okay, I shouldn't say playing with ear candles. This should be adult supervised. Actually, this looks really scary now that I'm looking at it. It's an ear candle. What is that? You shove it in your ear and it helps pull out earwax, but like instead of putting a Q-tip in there, it's using the heat of fire and air to pull out earwax. Relax, unwind and feel at ease. So it's supposed to make you feel good. The girl right there does not look relaxed. She looked like someone knocked her out. Okay, I'm scared. But I guess we're just gonna jump right into it and try out this ear candle. Let's get to it. All right, so first thing you're gonna have to do is make like a, an ash catcher. So you actually have to cut like a hole in this thing, like directly in the center. But also you have to cover this plate in foil. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and open my foil just like this. And I'm just gonna cover it, put it like this, and wrap the nice plate in foil. Cause there's gonna be fire near this, and the paper plate's gonna catch a fire, then my hair's gonna catch a fire, then I'm gonna die. I don't even know what this thing is made out of. Wax? This thing's made out of wax? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. And cotton muslin. I don't know what that is. You're gonna use these scissors to cut it as it is burning, because it, you don't want it to like bend over, and then fall off of this thing, and then light your hair on fire. So, make sure you have scissors ready. And also, speaking of lighting your hair on fire, you need two things to protect yourself. All right, the first thing you'll need to protect yourself. Okay, I'm just kidding. You don't actually need one, but I mean, if you want, you can use one of these, but I think what I'm going to use, it says in the instructions, use a towel to protect your hair. That's what I'm going to do. There's a special technique to protecting your hair that was taught to me by my sister. You like spin it so it looks like Rapunzel's hair, and then you go like this. Look how beautiful I look now. And what's cool about this is it becomes like a nice little pillow you can lay on right here. Hopefully not catch you on fire, but yeah, you want to hide all your hair you can. And then you also need a pot of water, just in case you actually light on fire, and someone has to put you out. All right, so I'm ready now. I'm laying in the position. I have this here. I'm gonna stick this here and have somebody light it on fire. I'm sorry, mom. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and my friend come in. Hello. Hello. You, you've done this before, right? No. What? Did you watch a video at least? No. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, anyone could just light me on fire. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. What if it's like a firework? What if it goes into my ear? Like, what? What's supposed to happen? It's supposed to just be warm. That's what the instruction said. I'm scared. I'm just gonna. I'm lighting it. Whoa! Ah! Oh yeah! Something is happening. Woo! No, it doesn't. Oh, it feels weird. I don't know. What is that? I can't tell if it hurts or if it's hot. Like, what's going on right now? It's on fire. It's on fire? Yeah. There's something on fire above my head right now, guys. I don't know. I don't really feel anything right now. It feels warm. Like, there's a warm heat. Probably this candle that's on my head right now, but it feels like warm. It's like steam coming out of your ear. What? Out of my ear? <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, out of my ear? Isn't this supposed to come out of the candle? <laughs> oh. Wait, it's like hot, but there's like a, a laser beam in my ear. Oh, I'm hearing things now. It's not like the ocean or anything, but it's like... Oh, this is so weird. Is this dangerous? Don't drop it on me, please. God. Please. Oh, you put it out. Okay, thank God. Wow, there's a lot of steam. Oh gosh, I think it's smoke. smoke. Yeah. Okay, so when it was on fire, yeah, I can definitely tell the difference. She put it out now, right? When it was on fire, have you ever been like in a wind tunnel? It felt like that, like in your ears though. Oh, now I feel weird stuff now. Oh, 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 all I can hear is her cutting stuff. All right, not again. Sound yeah, when, when it's on fire, it feels like you're in a wind tunnel. You know, like when it's blowing and really windy and your ears like, Ooh, it makes that noise. It's making that noise right now. It's also making like a crackling noise. Oh, this is strange. Oh, this feels so weird. It's burning it, faster this time. What? <laughs> it is. What if it sucks my brain out? I'm so nervous right now, guys. Oh, I kind of like that. Whatever that was. <laughs> that one felt good. Whatever that was. I didn't know it felt good right there. <laughs> Why does this feel good? <laughs> it's kind of scary, but it feels okay now. Oh my gosh, I see it in the reflection. That's not a normal fire. That's like a flame. Like, you don't have to be a professional this to you? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, it went into my ear. Oh gosh. What if I was deaf or like I just had really bad hearing my whole life and I could play music better now because I pulled all this wax out of my ear? Maybe guys. I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm down. Oh, is it back on fire? Oh yeah, I see the reflection. It's on fire. I have to do both ears, honestly, because I can't just pull wax out of one ear, right? Because if I pull wax only out of one ear, then this ear is going to be deaf, this ear is going to be beautiful, and then only people that talk to me on this side are going to be able to communicate with me you properly. You do a hearing test, Marlon. Yeah, let's try that after. Please tell me we bought these at like Whole Foods or something, like not Walmart. Uh... Did we buy these at Walmart? 
Yeah. What's up in my ear that we bought at Walmart? Oh my gosh. I might die today, guys. My ear is like throbbing right now. Stop blowing out, Marlon. What? Stop! Blow it out! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Don't scare me like that. Like, it's not going out. It but, wasn't. Oh my god. My hair's gonna light on fire. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Oh. What? Uh, what? Nothing. What? It's just not hard. It's supposed to melt. It's a candle, I know, but right? It, like, it, like... That smells good. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that's my earwax going in your <laughs> nose. I hope you like that. <laughs> oh my god. Is it my earwax? That smells good. Apparently. It's... Fragrances by Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> my ears getting like real itchy now. Itchy? Yeah, itchy. Like, I want to pull it out, but I can't right now. We're almost done. So wait, where's the earwax supposed to go? Into the candle. Oh. How do you know it's your earwax and not the wax that was in there that melted? I don't know! I guess you're gonna have to open it and look at it and see and inspect it on camera, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's intense now, guys. Does it feel any different now that it's closer or no? Yeah, it's like way hotter. It's like really hot and the laser beam is like hotter. Ooh. And I don't know if you guys keep up with like lantern festivals, but this is basically the same concept but reversed. So like those little lanterns, you know, those little Chinese lanterns that people We'll do like 500 lanterns, it's just a little piece of paper, a little candle. It's the same thing, but instead of going up, my lantern's going this way. <laughs> heat rises, so it's making the heat go up and pull the lantern up. Same thing with this, it's pulling the wax up out of my ear, and it's hot, and oh my gosh, this feels so weird. I'm like so itchy. Like I cannot wait to pull this out of my ear. You guys do not understand how excited I am. I'm gonna pull this thing out and feel like a new person or something. It's so itchy right now. I was like, oh. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so itchy right now. It's like a scab right now. Right now. I just want to pull it out. Oh gosh, I'm hearing weird things again. Mmm. 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 Wow. Alright, let's just pull it out. Oh, that felt so good. Oh. Hey, my ear has no earwax in it. <laughs> it's like clean now. Okay, well, let's go to inspect this thing after I put it out. More fire. You guys can click away now if you really want to. It might be gross. I honestly have never seen the inside of this, so I'm kind of excited. I'm cutting it open, guys. We're gonna reveal how much wax I had in my ear. What is all that? What is it? Is that from my ear? I'm a dirty boy. If that's all the earwax that's in my ear, please God, tell me that is not all my earwax. What is that? It's like powdery though, so I don't know if that's my earwax. I don't know what's my earwax right now. Is that what it sucked up and turned like powdery? I guess I have to do this again to really test it. Oh my God, I got the earwax or whatever is on the table. Oh, that is so gross. I feel like that's my earwax. I don't know. I don't know what's my earwax. Like guys, you gotta look at this right here. Like I don't know if it's this powder or if it's this hard thing. Do a test, like talk to me. Ready? Marlin. Okay, try this one. Marlin. Okay, I feel like this ear is definitely better. I feel like it can hear better. I don't know though. It might just be the placebo effect or something, but I feel like I can hear better out of this ear. Go ahead. Marlin. Marlin. Okay, I think I can. I don't know. If I pulled out all that earwax, maybe I did. I don't know. That's freaking me out. All right, we're gonna do the other ear now, and I'm gonna pull out the other earwax, and I wanna see if that's the correct stuff. That's gross if that is earwax. All right, guys, so now we're on my other side. I'm gonna get the wax out of this ear. I feel like this one is very waxy. Not excited for it, but I'm excited to balance out my ears. Oh, it's on now? Oh, it's lit. It's so lit right now. I can hear it. If your parents are into this stuff, you know, you should ask them to try it. To clean your ears, you never know. You might get better grades or something. Oh, this is so strange. I heard something pop right now. Pop, 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 pop. My mom's probably watching this right now. Freaking out. She's probably like, what are you doing, Marlon? They don't even do crazy stuff like this in Cambodia. So my mom's probably freaking out. Sorry, mom. The reason why I did this, honestly, I was taking a shower today and I had this like flashback to my sixth grade teacher. My teacher was like, yeah, there's this ear candle that you can put in your ear and if you light it on fire, it actually sucks the earwax out of your ears. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, man, you just suck it out of your ear. And I'm like, what? And I didn't believe him. Little did I know, I'll go 10 years later. Or is it 10 years now? Probably around 10 years later, I'd be making a video about earwax candles. So thank you, sixth grade teacher. There's a cologne that is specifically designed using your own earwax and pheromones. It attracts like certain people that are attracted to you. So you just spray it on yourself and yeah, I should probably get some of that. I can send them on my earwax now and we can test that. I heard earwax is good for your ear though. Like I heard it's supposed to like protect your ear from things, but like I have not used a Q-tip in a while. So this is gonna be an interesting what's inside that ear candle after this. It's so weird, everything is intensified. If you're into ASMR, this is for you. Ooh, okay. It's like the opposite of a wet willy. A wet willy is so uncomfortable and disgusting, but this is like warm and like nice, and you feel cleaner because something's coming out of you. But like, oh, 
That was weird. Uh, this is where we get, we're getting close to the part where I feel like it's a scab and I just want to rip it out. Oh gosh, this feels so weird. I think I have to give it more air. I think I was blocking off the hole at the bottom. So if I give it more air, it starts to like really pull the air out and the earwax and all that. Ooh, that always feels weird when you blow. Can you hear yeah. it when I blow? Yeah. Really? Like really loud. Lighting it back up again. Ah. Uh, I feel like this ear just has so much wax in it that it's really blocking the flow right now. Apparently, according to all the forums, this is where it starts to really start getting your wax out because it's like melted it this whole time, been getting it ready, and now it's time to like suck it all up. So this is the point where the fires really start to go to work. All right, so the fire is getting closer to my ear now. We're on the intense level right here. Ooh, oh yeah, ooh, ooh! Okay, so it's getting really warm and it's like pulling stuff out. This feels so weird. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I hear like weird crackling noises though. I heard this is really good if you ever get an ear an ear infection too. It'll suck out all the infected earwax. So please, if you ever get an ear infection, you heard it here from Marmar right now. I just want to pull it out. I'm so excited. Try and see what I made, guys. With my ears, my powers, my powers of creation with my ears. <gasps> it's not blowing out. <laughs> what? There, got it. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna pull it out in three, two, one. Ooh, okay. No ghost in here. This is actually all my earwax, so this is kind of gross if you're thinking about it. I'm blessing this area, guys, like sage with this. All right, I'm gonna put it out now. Ooh, that's nice. This is gonna be gross, guys, but we're gonna cut it open. Oh yeah, that for sure wasn't there before, so that is my earwax, okay. Oh, it's all over the scissors. Ew, okay. I have some dirty ears. I'm a nasty boy. I need to take showers or something. Like, oh my gosh. Like a giant chunk of earwax just came. I'm sorry if this is disgusting for some people. It's disgusting for me, trust me. I guess this ear's a little bit cleaner, but wait, I can actually break it out and like make this stuff come up. But all that powder in there is all earwax. This ear is way less dirty than the other ear. This is legit. That's legit my earwax, guys. It freaks me out. Why is that in my ear? So apparently earwax, when it dries, it turns all powdery like that too, because when I first looked in this funnel thing, when I looked in it, there was nothing in there and then now after I let it do that I saw like this powder in there and then I cut it open it's that this is what happened to my other ear I feel clear I feel like I can hear things oh yeah I definitely just heard like a baby crying over there yeah uh-huh and then now the mom oh the mom is getting a pacifier for it no no it's not a pacifier it's a bottle of formula yeah that's it I can't smell far but I can hear it I can definitely hear that guys it's crazy and my hands are disgusting and this the blade is so nasty because that's all earwax all over it ew all right well I hope you guys enjoyed today's video Video, I played with this ear candle thing, which is not a toy. So please do not do it by yourself. Get a parent to try it with you if you think you have an ear infection or you really want to get earwax out and see it and look at it like that. If you're weird like me. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Peace!